a South African has put his name in the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest coffee mosaic ever created. Percy Maimela usually works with salt, but his portrait of a black coffee, one of South Africa's leading DJs, was created using coffee beans. CGTN's Julie Shai has more. Percy Maimela is not a conventional artist. He uses salt to create mesmerizing art pieces. Salt is a motivation in the sense that I'm using something that has been in, in every household forever. I'm giving it a second purpose. In a sense, I'm trying to create a, an idea that like, we, we, we shouldn't limit ourselves to, uh, to the traditional methods of doing things. Maimela's distinctive work caught the attention of Brain Farm, who were looking for a unique event promotion. And they proposed the idea of doing the art piece of black coffee with coffee. Well, initially I didn't like the idea because it was, I felt like they were redirecting me. But because I love challenges, I was like, okay, cool, let's do it. And then, then I pitched to them the idea of me setting a new record for like Guinness World Record. It took four hours and a few bags of coffee ground to complete the aromatic lookalike of the world-renowned South African DJ and enter the Guinness Book. We set the new Guinness World Record for the largest coffee ground art. The final result is about 25.9 uh, square meters. I had a chance to go upstairs and look at the artwork. So that was like, oh, this is amazing, man. Yay. I was excited. The Percy's first love remains salt, and he hopes to one day take his talent to the world. So I, I, I still feel like uh, Guinness World Record is page one of like my notebook. One of my goals is to do my artwork on a very huge space, huge platform where people will see it live. The other one is just to travel and, and uh, maybe bask around, uh, hide my face, just throw around my material and then leave and then say, Percy was here. <laughs> Maimela says, however, leaving a legacy for his son and the next generation is his ultimate goal. Julie Shara, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.